Daily Break Sunday, July 18th, 2021 16th Sunday in Ordinary Time Daily Break Sunday, July 18th, 2021 16th Sunday in Ordinary Time The Holy Gospel according to St. Mark The apostles returned and reported to Jesus all they had done and taught. Then he said to them, Go off by yourselves to a remote place and have some rest. For there were so many people coming and going that the apostles had no time even to eat. And they went away in the boat to a secluded area by themselves. But people saw them leaving and many could guess where they were going. So from all the towns they hurried there on foot, arriving ahead of them. As Jesus went ashore, he saw a large crowd and he had compassion on them, for they were like sheep without a shepherd. And he began a long teaching session with them. The Gospel of the Lord. Our loving Abba Father has sent Jesus to us in order that he might shepherd us, lead, guide, feed, care for, and love us. We have all experienced that loving presence in our lives more strongly at some times than other. We can truly proclaim that the Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. But the challenge that this imposes on us is that we need to reach out and shepherd others with the same loving care we have received. We are called to share what we have received and further the mission and ministry of our Good Shepherd by compassionately shepherding those whom God has placed in our lives. As I reflect on the readings today, I realize that those who are disciples of the Lord Jesus are called to be pastoral. The word pastoral comes from the Latin word pastor, meaning shepherd. The first and most important role of those who follow the Good Shepherd is to be pastoral. We hear the word pastoral thrown about in our faith community, pastoral counsel, pastor, pastoral assistant, pastoral care. Yet, we somehow have the misconception that it means official and authoritative in the sense of hierarchy and administrative position. The true meaning of pastoral is shepherding, doing what is the best for the flock, leading, protecting, feeding, comforting, and uniting the sheep. Yes, at times the shepherd must take decisive and assertive control in order to safeguard the flock. But it must be done in a loving and caring manner, which edifies and builds up the whole flock or single member of the flock who needs that edification for the good of the whole flock. Sometimes the shepherd has to strike out at the forces which are seeking to attack the flock. The role of shepherding is first and foremost that of the pastor of a community. Yet 
as the pastor models the caring and nourishing qualities of the Good Shepherd, the rest of the flock must share in the role of supporting each other. The key quality of all supporting must be compassion, a willingness to suffer with the other. Each of us is called to share in the pastoral ministry of the flock of the Lord Jesus in various ways and to the various persons whom the Good Shepherd has entrusted to our care. All pastoral care should have the goal of allowing the sheep to experience the love of God. The focus is always on what is best for the ones who are receiving ministry. How often each of us fails in this aspect of shepherding. Those of us in any time of leadership are tempted to use our positions for our own benefit rather than the benefit of those whom we are called to shepherd. This is true of us who are parents, educators, bosses, or pastoral caregivers. We need to keep coming back to our master teacher and see how he shepherds the flock. In today's gospel, Jesus wants a little time of refreshment and renewal for himself and his twelve who had been apostled. Yet, when he sees the needs of the flock who came in search of him, he reaches out with compassion and tends to them. How do we do this in our daily lives while still allowing ourselves time to be refreshed and renewed so that we have the energy to continue being pastoral? This is a difficult task. One question to ask ourselves is, will the activity I am engaged in right now be for the true edification of the whole flock? Will it lift them up to know the love of God better and draw closer in their relationship to the Lord Jesus? If the answer is yes, then that is what we are to do. Sometimes, taking time to be with the Lord Jesus in prayer and meditation is the best thing, not only for ourselves, but also for those whom we are called to shepherd. At other times, it may demand we forgo our own interest and tend to the real needs of others, not just their demands. It may mean spending time with a member of our family when we would rather watch a particular show on the television. It might mean saying the reassuring word which builds up a person's sense of being loved by God. It could mean listening to a person who needs to talk and waiting patiently to share our response or not saying anything at all, just spending time with the person. Being shepherdy, pastoral to others takes concentrated effort at times. It means suffering with and rejoicing with others. It is a call to change both to one in and through Jesus, our master teacher, who poured out his blood on the cross and gave his all to and for others. And following the example of the Good Shepherd also means to know when we must spend time being renewed by going away with the master teacher to a deserted place and resting for a while. Only with the guidance of the Holy Spirit, 
we will be able to reach the proper balance between activity and personal time with the Lord Jesus, which will enable us to be truly pastoral in our everyday living. The personal question or action for today, how have I experienced the pastoral care of the Good Shepherd in my life? Which individuals have been instrumental in allowing me to feel the compassion and love of God? Have I shown my appreciation to them for their pastoral concern? To whom am I being called to show pastoral care? Have I taken seriously my calling to shepherd those who have been entrusted to me I care? Do I seek to take time to go away and be with the master teacher so that I might become a more renewed shepherd to those whom I am called to serve? Let us pray. Blessed are you, Lord God, for you have sent the shepherds to tend to your flock. Through your goodness, your compassion and your concern for each member of your flock is undeniable. All those some of those interested with the pastoral care of your sheep have not always been faithful to their duty. You sent the Good Shepherd, your Son Jesus, to give the ultimate care and example. He demonstrated your compassion and love through his ministry and his death and resurrection. He also shepherded discipled and apostled others to continue his pastoral activities. We thank you for those who have touched our lives with their pastoral care and helped us to know you are. We also praise you for allowing us to shepherd those whom you have entrusted to our care. We seek your forgiveness for times we have failed to edify your flock but have been selfish in our pastoral ministry. We make this pray in his holy name, Jesus. He is truly our good shepherd, our role model and master teacher who has died and is risen and li living and reigning with you and the Holy Spirit, our one and only God, forever and ever. Amen. Chúa xót thương, 